Hey everyone! Welcome back to some more Let's Play Gorky 17! We left off, we flipped some switches, pulled some valves, we got rid of some acid, and now we're gonna get past the acid, I hope, by clicking on this valve. Please don't walk through it, people. <laughs> it's like hot steam. There's enough to get rid of a, of, a, of a blob of acid, and I don't think I want you guys going through it. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and twist this. There we go. And I took a look around, and if there is something secret in here, I don't know where it is, so I'm not 100% sure what that switch did. Oh, hello! Things? Everyone stay calm. Panic will kill us all. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Quiet. Quiet now! Keep your heads, everyone. Watch your fire. Bad enough if they kill us. I don't want a bullet in someone. Oh, hello, Fang, my old friend. I hate you so much. Oh, wow. Can I charge him? So, okay. So, Fang can probably shoot across this. And he can reach, what is it? He can shoot three spaces and then AoE for three. I guess Sullivan's in a good spot in order to tranquilize it. And then he'll try to move up and keep it pinned. This doesn't look like, yeah, only single file. One, two, three. Can we move past each other? Oh, wow. We can't even move past each other. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Well, I guess we'll start with Joan. We could set a hound on fire. I, think, I just, I'm worried about the Fang just nuking us to death, but until we move up here, around the corner to get him, I think we'll be okay. So let's, we think, move up and stab the Hound in the face. Then Jerk can move up and punch it. Let, let's do it. Hey, good job! Good job. Level 6. Good for you. Oh, we know we want accuracy. And then we get you out of there. Jericho, move up. I'm going to assume that they can't move through each other either. So I'm fine taking a tiny bit of damage on you, sir. You're using a normal vest. We'll just hack it. <laughs> Wow, impressive amount of damage. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Oh, that'd be really tricky, actually. I need to kill all these three and get the Fang dead. Can it shoot me? Can we, how far can it move again? Two spaces, and it can shoot for one, two, three. I think it'll miss me if I move here. So we will do that. We can move up and stun it, and then move right up into it. And Jarek, we can't really do anything else with you. I need to be on this side to shoot him from across the, the way here. I think we'll just stay here. We might be able to use our pistol. Oh, we can't, even, we can't even shoot in the water. We're only allowed to shoot on the tiles. Okay. That's going to make this really awkward then. There's, okay, well, then I guess we're just going to stop here. Let's get you here, Theory. We'll move Joan into the center to protect her. And we'll try killing these little guys off. Oh, wow, he can reach. Okay, I didn't think he could. Okay, well, we're charging. That will stop him for a round. How can we... We can't... Hmm. 
if I just charge up to slug it, it out with these hounds, it's going to take a long time for us to kill it. I'd rather not waste bullets on these little creatures. Just move up and hack it, Tim. Oh, she can't even turn. Oh, but I guess she can't even be hit there. Oh, I wonder... He probably can't even shoot in this direction, so maybe we should let him come around the corner here instead of having moved up to tranquilizer him. That was probably a mistake, but it's too late now. Nice! Was hoping for a counterattack. Wonderful. So we should be able to kill it for if we get a good solid hit on it. And in theory, can move up, and he can't reach us. Oh, do I move up and I want to move up and pin it in the corner, and then slowly begin beating on it. Assuming that it can't fire the rocket over us, which I'm not sure about. Yeah. It's gonna get another giant. I should have defended, honestly, Tim. That was pretty. Uh, that was a pretty poor idea. That's oh, too late now. So he'll back up and shoot us. Oh, or he won't. Right, that works. Defended again. I, I, I'm apparently not going to be, be defending. All right. So, how do we want to do this here, Tim? Let's let it get closer, and we might be able to actually just kill it. Actually, we could use the stun gun. Okay, that's what I thought it was going to do. So you're gonna take way too much damage. Okay, okay, this this works. So let's charge. And I'm curious if he'll actually attack now. Because he'll take damage as well. And if you can move up and stun this guy. Let's see what the fang does this time. We'll switch to the crowbar. Get some experience for you, Theory. Didn't quite kill it, but that's okay. Excellent! He, I think he's just gonna sit there because he'll take a, too much damage from his own attack. Okay, uh, this worked out then. Uh, I'm, I'll accept this. It means we can just use the bat over and over again. Our level 10 bat! Nice! Farming experience points! Okay, so let's take counterattack. A 35% crit chance seems pretty good. We're just getting unlucky not to get any, I guess. Yeah, we're just, don't mind us, we're just chilling here. You take your time, boss. Nice, seven damage. Two more of those. Oh, the luck did as much damage as the normal hit did. I guess its armor is such that it doesn't take any more damage.
That wasn't so bad. We took two hits there. So, Sullivan, you should totally heal some of that. Uh, you're a little wounded. We can use some food. Uh. Oh, flamethrower, Tim! You forgot about that. That would have been handy. Okay. Oh, well. Let's go. Let's go get on out of here. Where the heck are we? There's massive statues under this place, too. Well, I see a, a box, and we're gonna want that. So I guess we'll start with... Break for the stairs! We'll never make it! They cut us down! We don't have a choice! Oh my god! There's a buzzard. Anything behind us? Why are we panicking? Why are we panicking? It's just a bunch of nothing. It's S. It's Sfangs. And a Sinner. Or Siner. With a buzzsaw on its face. I see. I see nothing dangerous here, friends. Not really. Does this thing have a range attack, I wonder? Well, let's... let's move up. Where can they go? And... We'll defend? I think we'll arm your Uzi to get some experience with it. We're good to go. Let's point you the other way. There's no boxes in this place either. Oh, I mean, there's lots of boxes, but there's no little chest that I can see. Nothing down here. They'll probably spawn all sorts of horrible things behind us, I guess. Well, so far, this isn't so bad. Sure. We'll move up and flamethrow this guy. Good job, Coleman. We could move up and attack it, but then we would take an attack. As well, from this guy. Well, I think he moved three. Yeah, so you can move three. So if I move... I, ha I would have to move away a space, and I can't do it with your axe. We'll move you here. And defend. out a bottle of vodka. We might try experiment with this so I understand how this... Oh, I should have had her defend. So I can see how this would work. Yeah, he's wearing a bulletproof vest, which will make him very resistant to these types of things. Okay, this will be a little tougher than I thought. So this thing's gonna die. All it takes is a single hit. So let's move up and have you... Actually, can we have you kill it? No. One, two, three. So we can move you here. Can't quite do it this round. Let's stun this one. I'm going to move you here. And you might be able to kill it. Actually, it will die anyway. Good. The, the fire would have killed it. 
I'm assuming these things don't have any range to them as well. Let's stun the Sphinx. And that will do it. Okay, they can't reach you, Jarek. Let's kill this one. Let's throw the bottle of vodka. Flammable. Do we have matches? And we'll put someone in the way. And we'll see how much damage it does with this razor face. <laughs> Let's place you this way, well, just in case it has to go after you instead. Actually, we'll move you down one more, Joan. Okay, that's that'll do, I guess. That would have done, like, probably close to 15 damage. So they do decent damage with their attacks. Should have probably held the stun for the other, uh, for this thing. Okay, well, we'll just back up a little. I don't really know if I should be using pistol ammo. Oh, we have our, our flamethrower is probably back online. It is. I'll wait for it to get a little closer, however. They can't quite reach you. All right, let's end our turn. I should be defending. I, I'm playing the game very poorly at the moment. That works out. We might be able to flamethrow both of them. All right, let's get you to the side here. We'll flamethrow them. this guy. Very nice. And then we might get lucky to kill the other one. Okay, all we have to do is decent damage to it, like three points, and it will burn up on its turn. And then Joan will move you up. Defend with you. Oh, there's lots of barrels here. I just saw them. You should totally try to blowing them up when these other sinners get close to us. We'll have to get lucky, though, to sucker them in this direction. Oh, um, yeah, because they can't actually fit up in this. This thing can move four spaces, I think. Three, but it can move two diagonal. I'd have to move back a space to be safe. I'll get closer and then we'll beat on it. All right, Sphinx, lucky day. We are far away from that creature. Okay, 
can we sucker it near the barrels? Yeah, this isn't bad at all. What do you mean they'll, they'll gun us down, by the way, Sullivan? They don't even have... They have no ranged weapons! Was there something else chasing us? Oh, it's moving away from the barrels. I don't want that. Alright, let's see if we can make it get closer to us. done and probably finish this one off anyway and the other one's so far behind that we can probably do the same thing for the other now that I think about it good job Joan wait for this guy bring it he's getting closer to the barrels Let's keep you there, sir. I, I will attempt to shoot the barrels after all. So I'm hoping by leaving you here, you will be attempting target for it. Awesome. Okay. And it's near two barrels. If we shoot this one, will they all blow up, I wonder? Let's get away. Nice! Awesome! Alright! One down. Now we can stun the other and destroy it. Where's that flamethrower? We are not afraid of you anymore! Mr. Razor Fist, a Razor, Razor Fist, Razor Face. Everyone should be defending who can defend. I still don't see any special treasure chest or the like, so. Oh, maybe there's something up the stairs? No, the stairs is not on the on the combat grid. Okay, where can it go? Can move down one more space with all of you guys. One space with everyone, Tim. All right, we got him. So first things first, we're gonna run up and roast him from behind. I love that that weapon doesn't use any ammunition. I can stun it in the face. I'm even beaten on it. You might as well come and stab it in the back as well, Joan. Get some, get some experience for you. 13 rounds of combat. Excellent work, everyone. That, that wasn't so bad. We took, what, like two hits, I think? Yeah, what? why were you panicking? There's absolutely, absolutely nothing to panic about. Let's also save the game. We just did, we just did two battles. You wanted me to go to the stairs for some reason, but I see it. I see two chests, and I, I want these chests. Can we, how can we make it there? There we go. So let's see what's in the box. Bottle of vodka, Uzi ammo, healing ointment, and food. Well, the vodka is going to go to Miss Firestarter. Uzi ammo can go to the person who's got the Uzi. And the health, healing ointments. 50 hit points. Wow. Oh, just like that, we're in we're in a great spot so far. He 
could wait for another fight to start. Let's see what's inside this one. A crowbar. 24 rifle eight. Wow. I guess the crowbar can go to Joan. The shotgun ammo can go to... Javik. Pistol ammo should probably be spread out amongst everyone now. And the rifle ammo. I feel like I can actually begin using ammo in some of these battles, rather than have to rely on my melee weapons. All right, we're, we're looking really good. All right, let's have everyone carry some actual guns on them. Flamethrower, and you'll also take a rifle. Okay, cool. Let's save, let's save the game again. We don't have to pick those, those up. What was with those notes from before as well? The BT-16302 uh, notes we were finding. And what is this place exactly? Are we in a museum or something? I... I don't understand where we are. I love the art for the game, by the way. This reminds me of some Terra Core. Another box. This, there's gotta be a battle here. Oh, this is a tr train track? Maybe they were moving something? Wow. Amazing. Okay, sir, what'd you pick up again? Moth elves are fine. Losing ammo is fine. Molotov turn. Alright, cool. There is something to interact with. Cabinet with drawer. Sure. Let's do it. Iron cabinet. Matrix disc. Data storage device with high capacity. What did I do? I gamble a little, but this? We're all gonna die. We're all going to die. Keep your head, and you'll be fine. Come on. You're a scientist, man. Is he a scientist? Fat man. Looks like a shotgun. Uh, the creatures here are amazing. This really feels like I'm playing Sacrifice. I'm gonna guess this thing can block for us. So, okay, let's begin moving up then. Let's also check to make sure there isn't any other treasure chest with like around. No, I don't see anything else. I got the impression he was riding like a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex or something, and it occurs to me this is a museum. Well, we had read it, we had... The one journal entry we had mentioned that the Matrix Dix... Di... Dix... Oh my god! Disc! Come on, Tim! <laughs> was inside a museum. That must be this place. Is it honking a horn? I think it is.
Looks like it has a horn right there. And a shotgun. Okay, can we fire forward, I wonder? Let's see, can I fire through this? We cannot. Okay, I'm going to assume that means it can't either. If I move up a little, can I fire through that a little bit? No, we can't. Perfect. I'm going to assume it can reach you on this side. And the shotgun can hit basically any kind of square, as long as it has a line of sight to hit. Experience, my goodness. I'll tell you, hit points. Well, let's move up. Oh, I can't turn to the side. Oh, that was the wrong button. That was the end turn button. Oh, although I'm kind of glad I accidentally hit and turn. Can we flamethrower it? Heavy armor. It can move three spaces. One, two, it might be able to reach us. I can't anyone in particular here. By the way, I'm sorry, I can't use an AoE here. Let's move down. I can move you away. And I think that'll be good. Let's weaken this guy a little. Uh, this will be fine, I think. Oh god. Oh! Good! Oh, oh good god. It doesn't- I can't actually reach us. Okay, so let's deal with these two then. How's our Molotov Cocktail? Will this do a damage in the AoE? Good job, Joan. Okay. We can kill both of these this round. It'll burn up, uh, so I'm fine with that. It looks like this thing can't get down here, so it has heavy armor as well. We'll rifle it once and then move away. Nice. Good work, everyone. He's just gonna sit there and stare, I guess. Oh, there he goes. I think the flamethrower is ready to go again. One more turn. It can't reach us, but he can. At least around the corner to shoot. So let's move away. We're going to assume we'll be safe back here. and we'll be able to reach us. And I think we'll just kind of wait. And 
waiting to ambush this poor thing when it rounds the corner. Okay. I want to do this, Tim. He's going to not quite line up. Like he is, if that is a shotgun, Tim. Remember, he can take, whip that out and hit the angle with it. Let's... Oh wow, for one damage. What a waste of a bullet. We can't kill it now. If I move here and defend with you. I'm not really kill it with a rifle shot. Let's try. No. Four hit points left. Okay. End our turn. Let's deal with the big guy. <laughs> nice! Eat it! <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can tranquilize with the big guy. We missed! I went too far! Oh no, Tim! <laughs> okay. Crap. Well, then we're gonna rifle him. That's a good hit in the back, though. Let's get your... luck up. Oh, Tim, this is probably a vehicle. Even if, if you stun it, you're probably just going to stun the vehicle. Let's do it anyway. Actually, we can move him away as well. At least get out of the front arc there. Okay, and we'll end our turn. It still says tranquilized on him, so maybe he can't go next round as well? I don't think it works that way. Let's be, sh let's be sure. Excellent work, sir. Let's get your... Let's get your luck up again. We'll throw some vodka on it. Give up one more attempt to do that. Flammable protection. But we did set on a fire with the flamethrower, so I'm a little confused. So I wanted to set it on fire with the fl with the vodka for one round for 15 damage, and then hit it and keep the flames going on it. But I guess we can't do that. Okay, it's gonna. It has to be now or never, I guess. Or now. Well, actually, it doesn't have to be now or never. It has to be now or later. Fourteen damage. Let's then get you away. I think we can still stick with the bat. Oh, 
Tim, you need a better damage weapon than that. damage to heavily armored opponents, but I'm going to move her here and defend with her. And I think we'll simply move here and defend with him as well. I don't, I'm not sure if it will get to go. It does still say tranquilize, but just in case. Okay, so I could have attacked it last turn. Let's see if we can kill it this turn. I think this is totally possible. Very close, very close. We have to do a, a rifle hit from the back. Actually, it's still on fire, and I think we'll take five damage this time. Good work, everyone. That was awesome. And we all got we all got a kill? We all got a kill. Wow, we took almost no damage there. Oh. Wow. We're in, in excellent shape. Holy flipping crap. Remember to have your rocket. Oh, and thank you, Pincer of Fate, for telling me that the missile is basically a one-in package. It is a missile. It will totally fire, emit, or maybe, I guess make a missile hit the target. So I don't need a rocket launcher or a missile launcher to fire it. What was that thing we picked up, by the way? We picked up a second Matrix di disc. No reason to leave that open. Oh, let's save the game as well, Tim. We should have enough time to do one more... One more thing. Or explore a tiny bit more. They just keep coming as if we aren't even hurting them. Well, either we run out of them or we run out of ammo. That's not very hopeful. It's too late for that. It's never- well, hope is the first step on the road to disappointment. Wow, there's quite a few of these things here. Jet Elmer. Cutter pills. I don't see any chests or the like around. We do have some barrels as well, so we can maybe sucker them toward those. I can't tell if that's a jetpack or a rocket launcher has on its back. I don't know if it has any ranged capabilities. Okay. We should definitely deal with these two first. Obviously, they're close to us. So... And I should stay with the barrels in case you have ranged and they are smart enough to go after the barrels. That can hit us anywhere we go around that. I don't want to be lined up with it. Okay, well, it lined up for us, 
so we should be able to move up one and shoot the barrel. Or two and shoot the barrel. Medium armor on that guy. I'm gonna move you here and maybe defend with you. I don't know if it has any AoEs either, so we should not get too close together. Those are missile launchers it's got on its side. Okay, Tim, how are you doing this? This is obviously the bigger threat. I don't want to be hit by this thing either. I can't stun it with my... With my... Uh, I can stun this one with my tranquilizer. But I can't kill this one this turn. They are both to Actually, they're both together. We, we can. We can do this. We can kill at least one of them this turn, if not both. Oh, God! No, no, now we now we're not killing either of them. Oh crap. Okay, let's stun one of them, right? We have the extra stun gun here. Charge four. We're gonna need to. We're going to need to kill these things now. So they're immune to fire. That sucks. For, for us, that sucks for us. It looks like they're tranquilized for two rounds. I hope. Actually, we should kill the big one. Like, you really need to kill the big one. How much damage does the Uzi do? 25 with 80% to medium. The rifle is the better weapon to use. We won't kill it this round. We might. Sixteen damage up. We'll have to get a really lucky hit on it. Um, rifle to the face might do it. Just in case it's not tranquil. Just in case it gets. Uh, I think I'd rather defend than attack. No, let's let's attack it. <laughs> okay, it's back online, as it were.
Let's have you move behind it and we can rifle it. Awesome work. And we can move up here and shoot the barrel. And we can kill it next round with a melee weapon. Alright, we got you. Nice, awesome work. This guy's way out in the open, so he's going to be tricky to get to without taking damage. The best thing you can do is avoid the barrels, Tim. And keep yourselves separated. Or separated as you can get. They're immune to flamethrowers as well. So we'll have to use a tranquilizer unless I want to take damage. It's afraid! Let's get let's get after it. We're avoiding those barrels, just in case the AI is smart enough to use them. But we, we, we got this guy. Okay, where can he move? Okay, so now when I get close to him, he's able to actually shoot at us. I think it's best that we try to charge him. He basically reach us wherever I go. Okay. If he wants to move and shoot us, that's fine. Wow, he has a lot of range. He has a lot of range. But we've reached him. We've got you. We got you. Okay, so he's not, he's he's still going to be stunned this round, so we can, we should be able to beat him up, and then tranquilize him again next round. <laughs> to slaughter him. <laughs> Cut him up. You can be as untranquilized tranquilized as you like. I'm just gonna stun you again. <laughs> this was not so hard in the end. We didn't take too much damage from this fight. Yeah, we've totally slaughtered him next round. 
I like theory to get the experience. I think one hit from you, Sullivan. Oh, it's gonna be close, but I think you can get the kill. But you'll have to take it from behind. Uh, that sounded... That sounded bad. You're gonna have to hit it in, in the back here. Oh, still not enough. Just short. Alright, good work, everyone. Okay, and I think that's good. Oh, I see. There's a credit card over there. We, to we totally want that. Okay, but we'll stop here right now. So thank you all for watching. This has been lots of combats. And we didn't take too much damage, nor did we use too much ammo. So I think this is going really well for us. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.